Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about After Effects presets. Shout out goes to Hanel Jethfa for requesting this. There's a lot of new users that are starting out in After Effects and presets is a great way to get started because you can apply them easily and you can deconstruct them. Now we're going to be applying them through Adobe Bridge. If you don't have Adobe Bridge installed, install it. If connecting from Adobe Bridge to After Effects doesn't work, please do not ask me how to fix this in the comments. This is a problem that occurs and the only way to, to fix this that I've heard of, and this is from Adobe Tech Support, is to uninstall everything, run the clean script, and then reinstall. Please don't ask me if this doesn't work. If you can't apply these through Bridge, you can apply them directly in After Effects. The only advantage in, in Bridge is you get to see a preview, but you can use the preview from the name and then search for that preset. Let's go have a look. All right, I'm going to start with some new footage. I'll click create a new comp with footage. And it's created a new composition here for us. If, it, if you don't have that feature, then drag the clip down to this button and create a new comp. Now it's important that you have the playhead at the beginning before you apply this. So over on the right hand side, effects and presets. If you don't see this, go to the window menu and look for effects and presets and open up the animation presets and you can see all the same presets here. If you click on the flyout menu and choose browse presets, this will launch Adobe Bridge and you should get this option to turn on the startup script. Just answer OK. And here we are in the presets. They're divided into categories, backgrounds, behaviors, image uh, settings, shapes, sound effects, synthetics, text, and uh, transitions. But let's go into backgrounds. For these, you need to create something to put on the background. Um, right now, we have a video selected. So if I apply this, it's going to uh, cover up the whole video. So here's something called Smoke Rising. And if I double click on this, it's going to cover up the video. So I'll undo that. If you want to apply those backgrounds, go to Layer, New, and create a solid first. Make sure it's the size of the comp. Doesn't matter what the color is. Click OK. Now when we go back, so let's say that this isn't working, double clicking from here, smoke rising. If we go to the effects and type in smoke rising, there it is. It's the same thing when we drag that on and we hit play. Now if you look over in your effects controls, you'll see fractal noise, wave warp, and tritone. And turning any one of these uh, on and off, you gotta make sure the others are deselected. Here's tritone. So you can see without it, it's grayscale. And if you look down here, you can see colors. So if I click on this middle color, which is kind of a silvery gray and change it to green, you can see that it changes the whole look of it. Or we go to blue or go to red. So apply a preset, look in the effects controls and poke around. You can also look in the timeline, if you want to see if there are any keyframes applied, and usually there are, if you tap the U key, which is commonly called the Uber key on North American keyboards, it will open up all the keyframes that have been set for this particular effect. So if we select this down here and hit the U key, we can see that there are keyframes for the fractal noise and wave warp, and that's what's giving this that animation. All right, let's get rid of this guy and look at a few more. I'm going to select this video layer and then go back to bridge, go back to my presets. And there are behaviors, we're not gonna do these, but you can have these effects like wibbly wobbly gelatin moving around stuff and you apply those. There's image creative, image uh, special effects and image utilities. Let's go to image creative. And you've got some interesting things here, bloom, brights, uh, plus darks. And this preview doesn't really show you a lot of, of what's going on. So let's apply this, double click. Remember, I'm applying this to a video. And over on the left, it's fast blur, calculation brighten, and calculation darken. So if I turn this on and off, you can see the effect that it has, some kind of a, a blooming effect that happens, uh, which is normally what happens in the lens when the highlights are not just burning out, the highlights are actually starting to bloom, almost have a glow type effect. I'm gonna undo this 
and go back. And something as simple as colorizing. So if we want to sepia tone this, I'll double click on that. Now we've got a sepia tone on the left, left you can see it's a fill, calculation, and tint. All right, let me undo that. And let's go to our special effects. And here's some interesting ones. This looks like bad television, weak television, cracked tiles. And if I zoom in on these, you'll see a little bit more. So let's do the bad TV two, double click on that. And it's applied that I'm going to RAM preview it and we'll be able to see that. So you see these wavy warps on the left, it's wave warp, box blur, color balance, noise, and the Venetian blinds are giving us this look here. This is an old television. This is back in the days of a, a cathode ray tube TV and this kind of effect. This is cool if you're trying to emulate an old cathode ray computer monitor, which would be the same thing. You could create a fake display and apply this, and it just makes it look like an old uh, computer monitor. All right, let's undo that. There's image utilities in here for flipping and flopping. There's shapes, and again, more backgrounds, and these are based on, on um, vector shapes that will be moving around, different elements, and of course, these will be moving around on the screen. So just apply any of these and take them apart and look at them, sprites. All right, let's make this a little bit smaller so we can see. Uh, sound effects is just that. These are .ffx. They don't make any sound here in Adobe Bridge. You can actually generate audio tones in After Effects, and somebody has put these together to make it sound like a telephone or a busy signal or whatever. I'm not going to apply those. I want to get to some more important ones. Uh, synthetics, these are very much like the backgrounds where they're creating these different uh, background effects. And just like before, you need a, a solid layer to apply those. Uh, there's transforms where you can separate the X, Y, uh, Z coordinates and dissolves. But this is the big one here. Open up text and you'll see you've got an enormous amount of uh, animations in here. This is a really fun place to play because the animations are fantastic and you can change them and they apply to any text and any font that you've added. So let's go add some text first. I'll go back into here. I'm going to turn off this layer and just grab my text tool. I'm going to make sure I'm at the beginning here. Grab my uh, type tool and type motion graphics title. Control A, Control Shift C on Windows, Command A, Command Shift C will select all and center this. We can also center this uh, with the paragraph settings over here if we wanted to. Okay, so let's add some effects to this. I'm just going to move that into the center. And you can see automatically the character information opens up on the right hand side. So make sure you have the text selected. Go back to bridge and let's look at animate in. These are all different ways that these, this type will animate in. Here's one, fly in from bottom. Double click on this and apply it. And there it is, it's flying in from the bottom. Now, two things you'll notice. First of all, if we go back here and, and preview this, you'll notice it starts off the screen and there's motion blur inside. So those little previews are best case scenario for the animator. They turned on motion blur, which we'll turn on in a second. And the design was based on a smaller screen. So if we go back to the beginning, we'll see that those letters really don't make sense because they don't start off the screen. Tap the U key with that selected and you'll see right here. It's the text selections and, and we can't really, the, the Changing this so that it moves off the screen to start won't be a keyframe. So hitting the Uber key won't help. Let's twirl this down and you'll see there's a text property and there's a range selector, which we've got here. And then there's an advanced uh, setting. So if, if we want to start with this position differently, if we move this position here, now when they go up, they start off the screen. So I just changed the Y value here. And you can click and drag or type the number. So change the Y value, pop it off here, 
and now they're flying in on screen. If I want the motion blur, I have to do two things. I have to turn it on globally here, and I have to turn it on for that layer. Motion blur is a layer specific thing. So now when we see that, now that looks more like the title. And this is just text, so I can double click on this and animate this or change the font, change the words, whatever I want. So I'm going to uh, undo that and we'll apply another one. Let's go back. And like I said, these are all animate in. So you'll, this was fly in from the bottom. If we go back to text and animate out, you'll see they've got ways of taking the characters out. So fly off the screen, random off. Okay, let's go and look at some other ones. There's blurs and they do just that. They evaporate the text or they make it jiggly. There's a bunch of curves and spins. The multi-line ones are when you have multiple lines of text. Alphabet soup. One of my favorite categories is the organic category because these look very organic. So here's insects where everything flies into the screen. Let me double click on this. Let's look at that. Just like before, turn on the, the motion blur and now you'll see them flying in on screen as if they're insects. And now if I wanted to hit the Uber key, if I wanted to change this position information and, and uh, make this not as fast, I'll click on the word position, hold the Alt key on Windows Option on Mac and drag the right hand side. And you can see it, it, it scales that animation. I'll take the other keyframe that I have here for the offset and place that there too. So now it's insects, but it's a little bit slower. Boop, 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 boop. And you'll notice there's less motion blur because that motion blur is based on the optics of a camera. The quicker something is moving, the longer the motion blur. This isn't fake Photoshop motion blur. This is based on the movement. So slower movement, less of an effect for motion blur. Now these are the 3D effects. And that will apply a three-dimensional text effect. Now let's, let's apply uh, this one. Actually, let's do one of these that flips up. Flip in. There we go. You'll see the title is it's three dimensional. The, the letters are flipping up, but they're straight. Yet in the preview, it showed on an angle. That's because the preview was built showing you what would happen if you had a camera. So let's add a camera and change the position of the camera. Layer, new, camera. And I'm just going to leave this on, uh, let's do a 50 millimeter camera. And if you get the camera tool, type the C key and drag around, you'll change the position of that camera. All right, there you go, Hinal. Hopefully uh, this gives you a little bit of insight into some of the presets. If you're an editor and you've kind of been worried about using After Effects, give this a try. Any of these comps that we're creating can be dragged right into Premiere Pro, dropped on the timeline, and uh, used in your Premiere Pro edit. So you, you can use this just for the title and then reuse it in uh, Premiere Pro. All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you're new to Video Reveal, please take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? Join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. I'm here to listen to your requests and make you look best.